This is tutorial number 59, and it covers utilizing multiple windows in assembly within SOLIDWORKS. Now what we're going to do with the multiple windows is we're going to create an assembly and put all of the shapes into the right spaces in the block template. Now to start off, before we begin, you have to make sure that you have all the parts saved. Now let's click File, click New, and we'll open up a new assembly. Click OK, and let's click Window, and we'll make it tile horizontally and we have our assembly in the top left now let's clear this and all we have to do instead of browsing for parts is we just drag them in and we make them so to start off let's drag in the block template and let's bring in the square and now let's do the mates click mate click this face and we'll click the back face and we'll make them coincident. Click OK. Now let's click this face. And we'll click this face. Make them coincident. Click this face. And click this face. Make them coincident. Click OK. And now we put the block in. Click OK. Now let's go for the circle. Let's drag it in. And let's start the mates. Click mate, click this face, and click the circular face. Make them coincident. Click OK. Now for this, we have to click view, click temporary axis, so that we're able to view the axes. Let's click this axis, and we'll click this axis, and we'll make them coincident. Click OK. Click OK. And now we have our circle in. Now let's do the triangle. Let's drag it in. And we'll start the mates. Click mate. Click this face. And we'll click this face. Make them coincident. Click OK. Now let's click the bottom face. And we'll click this face here. And we'll make them coincident. Now let's drag this out. Click this face. And we'll click this face. Click OK. And now we've put in the triangle. Click OK. And now let's open it up. And we can see that all of them are in and they look good. Let's click Window. Click Tile Horizontally. And we can see how we brought in all those parts and assembled them together. Now this concludes our tutorial on how to use multiple windows with assembly within SOLIDWORKS.